Good morning, friends. Today we're going to read An Early American Christmas by Tome de Palo. Beautiful illustrations. Once, a long time ago, in a small New England village, not one single candle could be seen in the windows at Christmas time. Not an evergreen wreath on the door, not a Christmas tree in the parlor, not even a Christmas song could be heard in the night air. Until the family moved into the white farmhouse down the road. They had come first from faraway Germany to faraway Pennsylvania and finally to this village. They celebrated Christmas, so people called them the Christmas family. In the fall of the year, the young woman and the girl picked the gray waxy berries from the bayberry bushes in the field. They picked and picked. And then they put the berries in some water in the big black cauldron that was set over a fire in the kitchen doorway, dooryard. While the old woman stirred and stirred, the gray wax was formed and the young woman poured it into another kettle. The two women tied strings on sticks and dipped them into the wax. They dipped and dipped and dipped some more and soon the strings became candles. Candles made from bayberries that smelled oh so sweet and that would burn in the windows and on the mantelpiece at Christmas time. Bay candles, bayberry candles bring good fortune to any home where they shed their light, said the young woman. A bayberry candle burned to the socket brings luck to the house food to the larder, and gold to the pocket, said the old woman. In the fall of the year, the young man and the boys gathered the apples and the pumpkins and the squash, but they dug the potatoes and put them away for the winter in the wood cellar. The best apples, the reddest and the shiniest, were set aside to be used at Christmas time. The old man carved and whittled while the baby watched, a new figure for the manger scene. As the days grew shorter and the winds blew colder, then the snow began to fly and December was here. Soon, soon it would be Christmas. Around the fire, the family sat while scissors snipped out birds and ladies and gentlemen and riders on white horses, angels, pomegranates, hearts of man, and long bands, all to trim the Christmas tree. The girl folded paper into stars to put on the bushes outside. She waxed them to protect them from the snow. The old man turned nuts into golden fruit with a flick of his brush, and the old woman baked the cookies that would hang beside the golden nuts on the tree. Out in the meadow by the edge of the woods, the young man and the boys looked for a tree to cut and bring inside when the time came. They tied a red cloth to the top so they would find it again. Up from the root cellar came apples to cut and string and to dry for garlands to put on the tree. Corn was popped and set aside for a day and then it too was strung. Then the baking for eating began because Christmas was getting closer. White cookies, brown cookies, cookie ladies, and cookie men. Cookies made with anise seed, honey cakes, small pretzels, and large pretzels. Pretzels everywhere. Now tulips, lovebirds, hands and hearts, peacocks, and stars filled the shelves and tables of the day. it's time the young man called on the day before Christmas and he and the boys went out to cut the tree and gather greens for the mantelpiece and the door and the windowsills. The old man put together wooden pieces for the Christmas pyramid. 
The old woman got out the figures for the manger scene. The young woman went to the root cellar for the best apples and the girl gathered the candles they had made so many days ago. The baby banged her cup up and down for Christmas was almost here. In came the tree into the parlor. Quickly, quickly, the old woman said, put the greens around, decorate the tree, set up the manger scene, candles on the mantelpiece, candles in each window, greens on the door, wax paper stars on the bushes outside, apples in a rosy pile, cookies on platters and plates. It's time, it's time, the young woman called. It's Christmas Eve, it's time. Into the parlor the family went. Then the old man read, and it came to pass in those days that they that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. The candles were lit on the tree and on the mantelpiece. The candles were lit in the win on the windowsills to light the way of the Christ child. And the neighbors came quietly to look and to hear the Christmas songs coming from the house of the Christmas family. As the years went by, some of the neighbors put candles in their windows too. Then Christmas trees appeared in their parlors. They began to sing Christmas songs. One by one, every household in the village became a Christmas family. Oh come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. And that is the story of an early American Christmas. May we share the true meaning of Christmas with someone today as well. I'll see you soon, Grace.